September the 17th. Whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. Mark 10, verses 43 to 44. And there's something about that experience of doing public service. A child's kiss set on thy sighing lips shall make thee glad. A poor man served by thee shall make thee rich. A sick man helped by thee shall make thee strong. Thou shalt be served thyself by every sense of service which thou renderest. E.B. Browning. Now, that may stir up some thoughts that people um, have nowadays, but that's, you know, not what they mean. Um, people would hug and kiss their parents or strangers or whatever, and it wouldn't necessarily be in that um, context. Let every man lovingly cast all his thoughts and cares, and his sins too, as it were on the will of God. Moreover, if a man will busy in this lofty inward work, were called by some duty in the providence of God to cease therefrom and cook a broth for some sick person or any other such service, he should do so willingly and with great joy. If I had to forsake such work, and go out to preach or aught else, I should go cheerfully, believing not, only that God would be with me, but that he would vouchsafe me. It may be even greater grace and blessing in that external work undertaken out of true love in the service of my neighbor, than I should perhaps receive in my season of loftiest contemplation. John Toller So, what can we do with what we have been entrusted with?